We're going to talk about another effect. So far, we have seen electronic effect. We have analyzed groups that are um, electron donor groups. And also, we have analyzed electron withdrawing groups and how they are activating and deactivating and how they orient. But now we need to consider another effect, and this effect is hysterics. So hysteric effect on the substitution. And here, let's look at the example. I Let's say that we have, I think I have, yeah, chlorobenzene. And now I have the following. So that is a Friedel-Craft acylation. That Friedel-Craft acylation. In that condition, your um, acid chloride in the Lewis acid is going to install that in the aromatic ring. But say that you're being asked, what is the major product? Because we know, yes, chlorine. Well, chlorine will have, um, um, for one thing, is our exception. It is a deactivating, that is, ortho para -thorexine. But what is the major product? The ortho or the para. So let's look at uh, the structures here. First, I'm going to be drawing both, and we're going to be analyzing what is the major. So... That's one, the ortho, and we're going to have the other product at the para position. Now, when you're predicting um, what is the major product, in that case, we need to consider hysteric effects. So notice this group here is quite large, and it's relatively close to that. Here, it's not. So, less hysteric uh, interaction. So, this product, the para, is a major product because of hysteric effects. So, we're going to say that's major. Um, let's give another example of that. Uh, molecules with, uh, say, hysteric effects. Um, let's see. I'll need to edit the video. Okay. Let's do another reaction in which we need to consider both electronic effects and hysteric effects. Okay. Now I'm going to draw. This is isopropyl benzene and say that I'm doing here fuming sulfuric acid. That um, is the condition to create a benzene sulfonic acid. Fuming means you have SO3 gas there. Uh, analyzing the electronic effects, this group is electron donor. So will be activating. Because of that, all of the activating groups are ortho, para, right same. So it's going to go there. Let's draw the two products that we're going to be forming. The that's the sulfonic acid here. And that, that's the ortho. And you're going to have the meta, uh, the para, I'm sorry. So isopropyl, and here we go. But now I'm going to draw this with all the bounds that is benzene sulfonic. So notice the size of that. And so this group is quite large. And with isopropyl, here they will be bumping, say, into each other. They were too close, too large group. So the steric effect here is large. So this one is a major product where you have those hysteric effects. So always then take into consideration, analyze first the electronic effects. So is it electron withdrawing or donor? Then where is it directing? Ortho para, and then analyze the hysteric effects.
to determine what is a major product. 